Hello guys, welcome to a PBJ production tutorial and this is Vinny here and today I will be showing you how to install Magic Lantern Raw video function on your Canon T2Y slash 550D. Now you are obviously doing this on your own risk and I just want to explain a few stuff so if you are in a rush I probably recommend you to not to watch this because this is going to be a long tutorial. I'm going to be explaining how to install it, how to use it and how to get the DNG files to work. So this is fully A to B video or on how to do uh, raw video processing. So let's go ahead and install this on your Canon TTY. So what we want to do is open up our browser. Now in the description there is a link to this website so go ahead and click on the uh, link to the website and we want to jump to the forum section. Now what we want to do is scroll down to raw video. Scroll down until you see 550D. There it is 550D raw video recording. Now scroll down, here it is. Now this is the current version, so if this video does get old at the moment, I'm just uh, gonna download this file which I already have. So for now, it is just a experimental version. You never know later on, you might wanna give it a go. If this video is a bit old, you might wanna give it a go again on this website and see if there's a stable release out yet. But for now, this is what we're going to be downloading the first link because the first link gives you more options. Now just to be on the safe side, I have included another link where you can download the whole pack where I have given you the folders of Magic Lantern Raw workflow. So go ahead, I, I recommend you should just download this link. So I'm just going to, what I'm going to do is just download this, the zip file and extract all the stuff that is in there. Once you have done downloading, just open it up so you will have this two folders over here, what you want to do is pretty much extract them to your desktop. That's, that's what uh, seems more easy for me. What we're going to do is hit OK. Once it's done, all done. There we go. That's all you need to do. Now what we have here is the tragic Magic Lantern rule. And this is all you will need to put on your SD card to run Magic Lantern rule. So pop in your SD card, which I already have. And we want to go to EOS Digital. Now make sure you have the current release uh, saved somewhere on your hard drive or your computer. Meaning like uh, you might want to keep the old version of Magic Lantern. Uh, so because this is the stable release. And make sure you back up your files and stuff. But I don't really need any of these files. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and format my SD card. Okay. Once it's done, what we'll do is take the SD card out and we will pop it into our Canon TTY. Alright guys, sorry about this, but I'm uh, facing a bit of power cut in Wellington, New Zealand. So what we want to do is take our SD card and put it in our Canon TTY. Once you have formatted it, obviously, and then turn it on. Make sure you set it to manual mode. Now what you want to do is hit the menu button up here and you want to scroll down to format now you want to hit the trash can button so the low level format is turned on so the tick is on and we want to hit ok once it's done we're going to plug it back into the computer now what we want to do is plug our sd card into the card reader or your laptop my laptop already has one so i'm pretty much sorted so what we want to go ahead is open my computer if it doesn't pop open and then we're just going to go to EOS Digital and the files that you just have extracted to your desktop should be here which is the Tragic Magic Lantern and what we want to do is pretty much go ahead and drag this uh, over into the SD card. So drop it down, bam and it's all done. So what we want to do now is eject the uh, SD card. Where is my eject button? Uh, Oh well, I'm just going to pop it pop it out of my computer here. Pop the SD card back into your DSLR. Now what you want to do is go into the menu back again. And you want to scroll over to the firmware. And you want to hit, you want to go from current version to the update, which is just hit OK. And it should install it onto your uh, Canon T2i. Once it's all done, we want to switch the camera back off and we will put it back into video mode. 
switch the camera back on in video mode and you should see the new magic lantern so this is pretty much the new magic lantern it will give you this message saying do it on your own risk and stuff and complain about the bugs and stuff so go ahead and hit ok and now what you want to go over to is the movie tab over here and as you scroll down you will see raw video now you can go ahead and play around with this now what I usually would uh, recommend is to have a fast SD card at least around about 45 megabits per second so I do not have that but I'm just gonna record something random and pretty much so what we want to do is hit the Q button and uh, first we have to turn it on and that's the highest I think the width that will it go to so I think to make this bigger you have to make the resolution higher and I think the highest is 1728 by 992 and that pretty much fills up the whole screen you can see the white border is all the way around I myself cannot record full raw video because I do not have a fast enough SD card but I recorded something very little and I'm gonna show you how to process that in a minute but as you can see if you hit the Q button it'll give you information down there uh, how much it can record and uh, how many megabits per second card it needs so I recommend getting a extreme SanDisk Pro from eBay they're around about like 80 bucks New Zealand dollars I don't know about US but in uh, New Zealand they will cost you around about 80 bucks but anyway once you have recorded your raw video I recommend if you have a slow card uh, recording at maybe let's say I would say most likely you should be recording at 1280 by 720 that's only if you have a 45 megabits per second SD card other than that you'll have to go lower but for now you can probably record like a few frames and I'm gonna show you how to process them so choose your resolution go ahead and uh, record make sure the smaller the resolution the smaller this bar will be so your video this is pretty much your video the outside of it is pretty much cropped out so what you want to do is hit record and it'll say up there how much it can record so it'll go ahead, it'll record and it'll stop because you have a slow SD card but anyway so whatever you've recorded we'll take it back to the computer and process it now now you want to pop your SD card back into the computer and you want to go to EOS Digital your SD card and you will have a raw file in here now you pretty much can't do anything with this raw file but anyway what we're going to do is drag this uh, into the Canon folder that you downloaded with the zip file so we want to drag this back into the Canon folder here which you downloaded open up the Canon folder now you have a raw 2 DNG do not delete that or in any way now this is where things get a little complicated but not too complicated so you gotta follow me and pay very good attention so we want to open up command prompt I already have pinned it to my desktop where you can get command prompt is from your start bar you just type it in command prompt and open it up once this is opened up what you want to do is pretty much type in CD disk top and then you want to type in CD Canon and now what you want to type in is exactly what's in your folder now first of all just just pretty much copy whatever I'm typing in it's gonna work exactly the same so what we're gonna type in is raw to dng.exe space now here what you want to type in is the file name which is the m15 so what we're gonna do is m15 dash one nine and what we're going to type after that is dot raw and hit enter what this will do is pretty much produce all the DNG frames of your video now close this up now open up Adobe After Effects CS6 this is what you will need to uh, work on the DNG files and put them all together as one once After Effects is open what you want to go ahead and do is hit the project tab and you want to go file import file now look for the Canon folder on your desktop there it is and uh, you do not have to select all of it because if you click the first frame it will just select all of it by automatically so just open this up and you will get this option now this is where raw is amazing at what we want to do is pretty much uh, play around and tweak with the settings I've already I've already saved my settings so I do not have to tweak it again so I'm gonna go load settings yeah I know it's, it has a furry name Yoro swag 
we're gonna open that up and that gives it a nice flat image look such as like red epic fs1 cameras you know doing this with a tty is pretty crazy now if i hit ok this will affect all the frames which is pretty good so you don't have to go frame by frame doing it that that'll be pretty crazy now what you want to do is go to composition new composition now these are my composition settings here i'm just going to hit ok now what this will do is create a 1080p composition now what we want to do is drag all of these dng files into the composition for the video to play as you can see it's very very tiny that's because it only recorded around about less than four seconds if you do not like the look of this you can obviously delete it and stuff like that and now what you want to do is to fit it up to the 1080p size just scale it just what you do is once you are scaling it press shift so it's according to the size and then pretty much voila it's all done perfect this is clear for raw video now what i'm going to do is apply my color correction to this if you obviously do not like the look of it and you want to go ahead go back and change it what you can do is delete the dng file and then delete it from the project tab and you can go file import exact same stuff i just did before and you can play, pretty much play around with it so you can pretty much play around with this and see what looks good for you i'm sort of going for a feel like this let's see how this looks like in adobe after effects yep that's exactly what i was looking for scale it up press shift So I've sort of come up with my own color correction and this is what I've got and it looks pretty good as a raw file. Um, you can see the test of this footage in the description. There's a link there. You can completely tell that I've applied the same exact color grade to cine style and it looks absolutely rubbish. On the other hand, applying the same color correction to the raw video file, it looks absolutely stunning. So if this video has helped you in any way, please like and subscribe. And I'll be releasing short films and stuff like that and more tutorials on request. So please subscribe. If you have any questions, please leave it down in the comment section below.